Hey guys, Corey Vanderplue here at Corey Photo on Instagram. Today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect silhouette. This is great for fashion images or if you want to just simplify an image and get rid of distractions. So this is an advertising image for a brand called Travis Tadeo here in New York. And what I want to do is I want to make sure this silhouette looks perfect so you have no distraction. All you're doing is looking at those eyes. You can see there's a little bit of bibs and bobs here that we need to clean up. So what I'm going to do is turn off my top layers, which is my grain and my crop. And I'm going to make a new layer, which is Shift, Command, Option, N, E. I love shortcut keys. I know that one might be hard, but it's going to be your best friend if you just stick with it. And now that I have this, I want to hold Shift. Command X to get into liquify. Now don't be scared of liquify. It might be a little bit weird at first, but it is your friend. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we are set on the forward warp tool, which is W. You just want to put, it almost just lets you push. But what we want to do is we want to be very subtle. So zoom right in on the image, push the bracket tool just to make it a little bit smaller. And all you're going to do is push that in. This is a total feel thing. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. You can see all you're doing is wherever it's pushing out, you're pushing in. And if you go a little bit too far, then you just want to smooth out those edges. You don't want to overdo it so it does seem natural, but you definitely do want to make the silhouette a little bit nicer. If you want to do a big push in to make it a little bit more subtle, use a bigger brush and then a small brush to get in these small, delicate little sections. And then you can see as we zoom out, you really just want to make sure that there's no hard line everything is just kind of smooth and fluid you're going to do the same thing over here it's a little bit bigger so watch this as this is a big one i'm going to use a big one right in the middle and i'm going to push it in and then as i try it again i'm going to go a little bit smaller a little bit smaller a little bit smaller it's a constant uh, in between your brackets and your clicks it's constantly moving Bigger for bigger, smaller for smaller, it's always contextual. But you can see this already looks tremendously better. You wanna see, zoom in here a little bit more and you can just make sure that these are nice. Now, here's a little bit, a thing a little bit more difficult. I'll show you how to fix around this a little bit later. But for now, you wanna get the arm out of here. I'm gonna show you how to paint back in. You know your arm is gonna be there on our previous layer. So no worry about that. Now that that's out of the way, we can just make sure that we are making the garment look as good as possible. Again, big brush for big moves, small brush for small moves. Keep it coming in here. Now you see they're a little bit hard here, so you just want to take a small brush and make it smoother. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, but it's already a tremendous difference. Again, that arm looks weird, but just ignore it for now. All we care about is the garment. Now we can come down here a little bit more. Nice big brush. Make sure this comes out. You can see there's a little bit more up in here. So again, you want to be pulling from the inside of it so you're not messing with the arm. Pull from the inside. Now this one might be a little sketchy, but I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. You want to leave a little bit of wrinkles, not too much, but you can already see this is dramatically different. See their shoulders are a little bit weird. Big brush, you generally want to match the size of it and then come right back up. There's a lot in here, so match the size of what you're trying to fix. Always using the same thing. This looks 10 times better. Easily. Oh, one more here. Push it in nice and gently. Make sure this comes down. There you go. And now you can see big difference. As we flip this on and off, you can see the silhouettes look insanely better. Such a small thing makes the world of difference. But you can see our arm looks a little weird here. So how do we fix that? What you want to do is you want to set a new mass layer. Zoom all the way into the arm. And because this mass layer is white, we want to be painting in black, so we're erasing it. Now make sure you're on your brush tool, which is B, and your opacity up here is set to 100. And all you're going to do is simply brush in the part that was messed up. So you're going back to your original image. Make sure you go a little bit over. 
so you don't mess anything up. And now let's just say you come a little bit too far, you mess that up, just push X, you're gonna switch this back over to white, and you're gonna paint this in nice and easily. It also gives you a way to spot uh, paint in. That way if you ever don't want, if you think you went too far, you can always bring it back, or you can just paint it right back in. Same with this side. If you zoom all the way out, flip it on and off, looks fantastic, night and day. And now what we're gonna do is turn back on our green and our crop, you can see our image is nice and fixed. Beautiful. All right guys, my name's Corey Vanderplu, uh, at Corey Photo at Instagram. If you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Happy shooting.